Hello JE champs! Do you know that the questions which ask us to determine the points of discontinuity for a function are an absolute favorite of the JE examiners? Well, to get a hang of it, let's take a look at this amazing past year JE advanced question. Here we have a function f and the question is to check where all is this function discontinuous. Now for starters, I want you to closely observe the options. Each one of them is an integer. That means our search is now narrowed down to just checking the behavior of the function at integral inputs. Alright, let's get started. Consider n to be any arbitrary integer. Then left hand limit of f at n will come out to be what? Let's see. The look of f is x multiplied with a cos expression. And we are aware of the fact that limit of product is product of individual limits, right? So limit is going to get distributed to both these individual functions. Now limit of x as x approaches n will obviously come out to be n. But what about this entity? Let's tackle it. We know that when f is continuous, limit of f is f of limit. Here cosine function is continuous. Right? So limit and cos will interchange their positions. Limit will go inside cos. And pi you can see is a scalar quantity. So it will come out of limit again. So what you will be left with? Cos of pi of limit x tends to n from the negative of x plus gif of x. Now again, x will approach to n. So you are left with just one computation limit x tends to n from the negative of gif of x. Tell me what will this come out to be? See x is approaching to n from the negative that means x is strictly less than n but very very close to n. So what are those two consecutive integers between which x is sitting? Yes n minus 1 and n. So gif of x will come out to be yes n minus 1. So now your expression will be equal to n multiplied with cos of pi of n plus n minus 1. Correct? This comes out to be n multiplied with cos of pi of 2n minus 1. That means you have cos of odd multiples of pi. Right? 2n minus 1 is odd. Correct? Cos of any odd integral multiple of pi comes out to be minus 1. Minus 1 multiplied with this n will give you minus n. So left hand limit is coming out to be minus n. Replicating the exact same reasoning, exact same approach, you can compute the right hand limit as well. What will that come out to be? Well, the moment you reach here, you know limit of x as x approaches n is again n. And here again, what will happen? Cos of pi of limit x tends to n from the positive x plus gif of x. Now x approaches to n only. What about gif of x? x is approaching to n from the positive. That means x is greater than n but very very close to n. So what are those two consecutive integers between which x is sitting? n and n plus 1. So its gif will approach to n. Correct? What are you left with? Cos of pi of n plus n that is 2n and you already had an n. Cos of even integral multiples of pi comes out to be 1. 1 into n gives you n as the right hand limit. That means for any arbitrary integer n, left hand limit is coming out to be minus n and right hand limit is coming out to be n. That means what? If you look at the options at 1, at minus 1, at 2, clearly this function is not continuous. But at 0, the value of left hand limit will be minus 0, which is 0. And the value of right hand limit will also be 0. So LHL is equal to RHL at 0. So the limit of the function is existing at 0. What is it coming out to be? 0. And what about the value of the function at 0? Again it is 0. So limit 
of the function at 0 is coming out to be equal to value of the function at 0, which means f is yes continuous at 0. So what are the points of discontinuity for f? 1, minus 1 and 2. That's why a, b and d are the right options and c is incorrect.